Yo, this is the inflection collective. All of us are connected, reflective, real life perspective, respected. The banter, the chit chat, no cap, it's big facts, so kick back. This here is done there, been there. But anyway, man, I'm so happy. Like, even the cast of Martin, right? What was the oh, Emmy yeah. Awards? We were just watching the uh, Emmys this past yep. week. Yeah. Yep. And the cast of Martin got back together. Like, it's good. We've been waiting for this Martin reunion. They actually had a reunion a couple of years ago. I think they had a special that was on HBO, I believe, or one of those networks. Maybe it was on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Uh, but back in the day, you remember Martin in the 90s, same time Chris Weber in the, in the Fab Five were out. That was one of the biggest shows on television. And then uh, uh, Tisha Campbell and Martin Lawrence had an issue where there was, I believe, she accused him of sexual uh, harassment or whatnot. And she actually left the show. They couldn't do scenes together, whatnot. So there was a long uh, hubbub. I don't think that last season and that, that season ended, but they eventually were able to make amends for whatever went on back then and come back together. Now, like, I don't know everything that happened there or whatever, but uh, I know there are people out there who may feel like if you accuse somebody of doing something like that, maybe that's a breaking point where you'll never be able to mend that relationship. I'm happy that they were because Maybe at that point in time, maybe Martin, who had been gone through a lot of stuff back then, we've heard the, the stories and the rumors about, you know, substance abuse and all that stuff like that. Maybe he was a different person then. And it's good that Tisha, if that was true, was able to forgive him and they can move on and make life better for themselves now. So we'll see. And for sure. And especially the pressures in a work environment, you know, I think in in us learning more about the cast of Martin and Martin Lawrence in particular, you know, he was carrying this show with his name on it, Mm -hmm. other outside factors, but also remember Tisha was married to Dwayne Martin. And you have to remember that sometimes when you do have a partner, sometimes somebody can cross the line for your partner. You know what I'm saying? And so Mm. it could have been a situation where because of their friendship, the nature of their character's relationship, that somebody else could have been offended. Like, hey, wait a minute. You know, and so sometimes you you do things because of the timing of it, because of the situation, not knowing the details of their particular situation. But yeah, it was really great. It obviously made you miss Tommy, uh, who passed Tommy Ford, who passed away some years ago. Uh, it was fun to see. Um, I've been able to do some stand up with Carl Payne. And what's funny is Carl Payne is um, he's traveling doing stand up <laughs> now, but we know him as Cole from Martin, but also Cockroach from uh, the, Cosby the Cosby Show. show. Yep. And to see him reprise the Cole persona on the Emmys, it really made me appreciate how much of a character he was playing. Right. Because a lot yep. of times when you don't know actors, you're like, oh, Carl Payne is is Cole, but he definitely is playing a character and it was refreshing now that I've seen another side of him as himself to see, oh wow, he's actually a really great actor because Mm -hmm. Cole is an idiot and Carl Payne isn't. Gina, um, Tisha Campbell looked amazing. A winning look for her. Tashina Arnold, they all looked really great and it was fun to see them kind of reprise those characters. Martin, uh, I saw a lot of people online kind of concerned, like, is something going on with him? But he has had several health challenges through the years, so it's still yep. really exciting to see him come out there and uh, be a part of the cast and, and present that award. It's really cool. Yeah, and, you know, and, and hopefully they'll have that reunion once again. Maybe we'll see, like, a reprise. Maybe it's, like, some kind of little small mini series or whatnot uh, for Martin Cass where they are. I know Tommy Ford's not there anymore or whatnot. But once again, good to see the Fab Five get back together. Good to see the cast of Martin get back together. You can come back together again. One more note on this, and that this is because this is uh, done there, been that. Um, we started the conversation off talking about, you know, you doing Guy Tori's 55th birthday party, right? And when mm-hmm. I first got out here, and this is a shout out, what's crazy is my first ever podcast I ever did was with Guy Tori. <laughs> Guy Tori, oh, wow. Claudia Jordan, uh, Steve Wilson, we had a, a podcast called the uh, the Unstable Podcast. And we were like, I think we were before our time. It was funny. It was relevant. We had a good time. We had good guests come on and whatnot. And the reason that ended was because a lot of us kind of split off. Claudia moved to Dallas. Steve had other things. Guy was torn or whatever. But one of the biggest things that happened on that podcast is that Guy and I, when I first got out here, we were like this. Like that was pretty much my best friend in L.A. And uh, I want to say this publicly because I think a lot of people know that. And I, I need to apologize to him in a sense. And we've apologized to one another since then. But during that podcast, we actually got into a fight, a, mm. a, a actual fist fight. And I haven't had a fist fight since I was in Bessemer. <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah. Well, I, I got into a fist fight when I was in the military. But it's, it's been over 30 years. And I'm a grown-ass man out here fighting somebody in the streets. And it was over something stupid. It was something that, you know, he was telling the joke that 
maybe I was in the wrong space at the time not to be able to receive it. My daughter was right there and all of that type of stuff. And I was going through a lot of things at that time. I got upset. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe I, I don't know. But he apologized. I apologize. And our relationship really has not been the same uh, ever mm -hmm. since then. Although over the last couple of years, we have been able to at least be cordial around each other and make amends. So hopefully, just like you see brothers like the Fab Five coming apart, you know, splitting apart after having that bond and coming back together. Because I love God and I think he's super talented. And I love that he's given women like you an opportunity and people like you an opportunity, like he gave me an opportunity. I really hope that our relationship uh, will be able to mend itself and that one day, Maybe it won't be the same as it used to be, but maybe one day we can get back to being that 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 bond that we used to have. You know what I mean? So uh, you gonna make you gonna make me cry. I I love you. I love God. I've known both of y'all for a very long time. I do know y'all have a fractured relationship, but <clears> when <throat> I saw you at his show, and I know you guys are cordial and and building, mm -hmm. that's exciting as a mutual friend to see, and um. And thank you for that, because I think, like I said, a lot of times it's hard for us to acknowledge where we may have fallen short in a friendship or been a part of a, a break. Um, and so, I, I listen, I'm I'm here for it. I, I see it happening in real time. So it's good. Let's yeah, come on. Let's get the band back talented. together. Let's go. We got to get. Yeah, because we, you know, we're doing some things together. And whatnot, and I think yeah. we all need each other. So I think sometimes yeah. Yeah. life gets in the way of in our egos. And like you mentioned, I'm so I'm glad you brought that up, because sometimes men especially when we fall out, something big, something happens or whatever, we got to let our egos go sometimes, yeah. man, because ego, I learned a long time ago, stands for edging God out and uh, we need mm. God in our lives there. So, You know, and, and that's the thing, you know, on a, on a global scale, how many men and women are dead because of ego? Or how mm -hmm. many people have been killed because of somebody's ego? And it's one of those things, someone kind of helped me check my ego when they were like, "All oh, if you are a believer, if you believe in God, uh, it's this concept that somebody can wrong you so much that you won't ever deal with them again, speak to them again, or even kill them mm -hmm. when you wrong God every single day. And he's like, it's cool. Start over tomorrow. Yep. That, like, we, what are you doing? If, Who if are you? you say you believe in God, we got to have a forgiving God and we've forgiven ourselves. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of it, I, I ain't putting it on God, but God, God will tell you he, he got, he holds no, grudges. God has a very strong cutoff game. God, God, God holds grudges. Game is as strong as mine. God, God will hold a grudge. He will hold a grudge. <laughs> What did he say? He's a Capri he was, not Capricorn. What, uh, whatever those Cap, the people that hold grudges all the yeah, time. Yeah, I think he's a Capricorn. Yeah, he's a Cap. Yeah. yeah, his birthday was just it just happened. So yeah, yeah it's Capricorn. Yeah, so he holds a grudge. No, anyway. guy is self admittedly a grudge holder. Now, Man. this is the difference between me and guy. Guy will hold a grudge. I don't hold grudges. I hold funerals. You are dead. To me, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> not, not, you can't bury him. <laughs> Come on, Done. but here's the We're thing. Done. So, so let's 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 find something here, comic girl, because. There, there, like we said, there are things that are forgivable and unforgivable. Mm -hmm. There ain't a lot of work, things in this world that are unforgivable. Like you said, if you're like God, if you're God-like, mm -hmm. you can forgive. You can't forget. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to have access yeah. the same way. But dead? I mean, that is... Yeah, well, let me tell you. When strange. I say dead, let me say, let me tell you when I say dead how I mean it. I, mm -hmm. I mean it, number one. <laughs> but it means you have 0% access to me ever again in the history mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, wow. yeah. Wow. wow. But like okay. to me, to me, the reason why I have had to make that distinction, because people have told me I hold grudges to me in order to hold a grudge, it would have to be someone I'm holding space for is somebody I would talk about is somebody I might <laughs> share. I don't, you literally never exist again. See, I'm the opposite. I can't, I can't hold grudges. I just can't, I just can't hold it in my heart. I just, like I said, I won't give you access, but I just cannot hold a grudge because I think when you hold a grudge, anytime you see that person, like when you cut somebody off, that's why I say I'll give you an emotional vacation. When you cut, when you cut that person off and you hold that grudge, when you see them, guess who is impacted? You're impacted because all of a sudden you go in a space that you don't want to be in. You don't want to be around this person. You want to leave and all that type of stuff like that. So when I see these people that I have not given access to, I'll be cordial. I won't cut you off. I'll give you, but I won't give you the same uh, access that you used to have, but I will not cut you off a of whole grudges and make you seem like I'm mad and bitter because once again, it's almost like, you know, uh, giving somebody poison and uh, you, know, you, 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 you taking poison and expecting somebody else to die. 